Welcome back to Inquisitive to Study. In this video, we would like to extensively expound one of the most baffling subtopics in macro accounts. And this subtopic is none other than twin deficits. Now, let's uh, take each word into perspective, starting with twin. When we say twin in this particular context, we are trying to say something that have a linkage, a connection with each other. That is twin. And now to the second word, which is deficit. Deficit is, is a situation which occurs when what your expenditure outweighs your what your revenue or you spend more than you 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 earn you understand that is deficit so now when we amalgamate that is when we connect these two words together now twin deficits will be that the twin deficit hypothesis is the observation that there's a strong casual link between the nation's between the nation's government's budget balance. The balance can be i.e. deficit or surplus and already have made justice towards a deficit. And the surplus is the reverse. That is when your revenue outweighs or is more than your what? Your expenses. And its current budget balance. You understand? Its current budget balance. So now, uh, looking at this particular definition, there are certain two key words that we have uh, highlighted. And among them is the nation's government budget balance and the second one is the current budget balance so these are the these are the two terms that we are looking at in terms of the twin deficits how they are being connected but before we move further let's understand what each term simply means starting with the government budget def uh, deficit or the government budget balance is the government budget balance is a financial statement presenting the government proposed revenue that's monies obtained from taxes and other fees you understand so that is government revenue and spending that is purchases and transfer payments for a final share year so that is the government budget balance uh, that is uh, the balance the amount uh, the remaining balance that uh, we have as a result of we uh, make a room for our revenue you understand make a room for the government making payment of uh, the revenue you understand uh, uh, through what tax the, the, the taxes that the government receive that is one of the major uh, way in which the government would procure what revenue and what's spending and spending to government also spend they spend it what producing what uh, social amenities maintaining laws and order in the country and all that so the difference between these two that is the revenue and the uh, spending is what we term as the government budget balance but to this particular uh, incident or this, what we are trying to do right, right now we are just taking only the deficit that is where there was the expenses uh, is more than the what the revenue good it is the overall difference between the government revenue and the spending yes just as i said so that is what we'll be looking at so that is the government budget uh, balance now moving to the current budget balance it is the account that records the value of exports and imports of both goods and services and international transfer of capital so that is the current budget balance the it records what the export that is the goods that we we, we take them from our domestic uh, roads or in our localities to uh, abroad or outside the country you understand that is the export and import is what the goods that we receive from other countries and so the difference between these two is what we call the current budget balance good now when we look at these two uh, you realize that when you compute it, you get twin deficit to be equal to what? Uh, savings minus investment is equal to current account minus government 
taxes minus what government expenditure good so in our subsequent uh, stages we are going to explain or we are going to prove this particular formula you understand we are going to prove it good so when government is spending is spending more than it ends uh, this will for, force the government to to make to rectify such situation because people will start complaining they'll start agitating the media will talk that they'll be saying their own point of view that the government is not doing well and all that so government would want to what uh, resort or solve that particular problem so by so doing government will issue bonds to the general public you understand they will sell bonds to the general public so they will sell by they selling bonds to the general public uh, since uh, the general public have come to the realization that the government is in desperate need of money so that they will keep that particular situation that they have they are experiencing that is the budget deficit by by that uh, the interest rate interest rate will increase because uh, people in order to, for the government to get a lot of people to patronize their bonds that they are issuing they have to increase the interest rate so that people will know that when they buy the bonds the returns on it or the rates the interest rate attached to the bonds is small so this will induce people to come in to pay to what to buy the bonds so as interest rate in increase Ghana's exports becomes expensive for foreign buyers meaning that as a result of uh, the exchange rate increasing the meaning to result in increasing uh, the, the value of the Ghana cities so will go high so when that happens, uh, the country's export becomes so what expensive to foreign by that our goods to be expensive. And when such happens, they they are being what they, they are being discouraged from what patronizing our goods. Good. So that is the first. foreign goods becomes cheaper. For 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 Ghanaians, for Ghanaian consumers, more. Uh, what we are talking about here, which is the current account, you get it. That deficit translates to uh, here this current account. You get it. So basically, what I'm saying is that when budgets. Uh, when a uh, government is experiencing budget deficit, that is, the expenses is more than the revenue, it is being accompanied with an increase in interest rates. There will be an increase in interest rates in the sense that uh, since government will want to control that particular situation, the government will be forced to, what, to issue or sell bonds to the general public. So when governments sell bonds to the general public, in order for them to encourage them to patronize, they are being mandated to increase the interest rate. We understand. So, as such, the interest rate will increase, and this will translate to the uh, expenditure, uh, the exchange rate. So, exchange rate in the sense that the Ghana CDs will appreciate, meaning the Ghana CDs its value will increase. So, as its value increases, this will uh, bring about th these two particular folks. Because when you talk about exchange rate. We are talking about what export and import. Good. So here with the export, uh, goods Ghana export becomes expensive for foreign buyers. You understand? So the goods that are being produced in the country becomes expensive for what uh, those outside the country or those in abroad to patronize that goods. You understand? As such, they are being discouraged. And now to the imports, goods uh, from other countries becomes cheaper for us to patronize you understand and as such uh, 
you are being mandated you are being encouraged to what to buy more of such goods and when you are being encouraged as a result of the goods being relatively cheaper this will cause our import to be more than a, our export and this will result to us getting a current account what deficit inter related so when government is experiencing budget deficits there is it necessitates that uh, at the end uh, current the, the in proof to call to tax minus government expenditure is equal to uh, current accounts now we, we want to prove this particular uh, formula that we consider uh, GMP GMP that is Y to be equal to we know GMP to be equal to what uh, we know GMP to be equal to consumption plus plus investment private investment plus government expenditure plus net exports plus net factor of products so we know gmp to be equal to this you understand good so now because we are trying to prove uh, this particular formula uh, we will bring things save a uh, so because we are trying to prove this formula so we we'll send things relating to uh, government uh, savings at one side and things relating to private uh, things otherwise we we'll send it at the other side you understand good so we know with government savings we have what y minus consumption minus what uh, investment is equal to government expenditure plus net exports plus net factor product you understand so this side you can see that these are things relating to the government you understand so we have consumption plus net export plus a uh, net factor product and this they are they don't relate to the government you understand so uh here we have the consumption we have the investment and here we have uh the gdp you understand so here we are tr just trying to prove this formula so by so doing we have to uh, send all these things one side and this one to the other side good so moving forward we know that we know that uh, G, uh, next export plus what next factor product uh, will give us what uh, current account right so let's substitute that or let's replace that uh, let's replace next uh, next export plus net factor product to current account good so we have replaced this to this you understand so the uh, net export plus net factor product will give you what uh, current account good so now at this stage what we have to do is to introduce taxes we are introducing taxing taxes because you want to arrive at something like this so you lessen tax from the whole from this side of the equation and you lessen tax from the other side of the equation as well now when we do that we end up getting Now, when we do that, we realize that the whole of this, that made a private service is equal to uh, something similar to this. You get it. So that is what we have done. Minus the investment and it's equal to 
the current account, which is the CA, minus, because we are trying to get something like this, so minus what? All in bracket T minus G. Now, when you look at this critically, this is the same as this. It is the same thing, just that because I want us to get something like this. So I decided to bring uh, the current account first. Then I negated here. Yeah, you understand? But when you still uh, simplify it, you end up with getting the same thing. So it's, it is still the same thing. Good. So when you look at it, you can see that we are almost arriving at this. We are making a lot of progress. So like I said, when you look at this one, this one looks or it looks like what private savings. And when you look at this one as well, this one too, that is taxes minus government uh, expenditure. It looks like what uh, government uh, savings. In only on the government, you can just omit this. You understand? Since we are just focusing only on the government, we can decide to delete this. And now to you just let's leave it like this then let's move to the next line and just forgo this because we are just focusing on this on on getting let's leave to uh forget about this and so now we'll end up having what current accounts minus all in brackets tax minus government spending is equal to what zero so now we can send uh, this to the other side so let's do that so current account is equal to so when we send uh, taxes minus negative uh, T minus G we end up getting what T T minus G and now this when you look at this it is the same as this so this is how we prove uh, this formula this particular uh, formula for the twin deficits okay I think we'll end it here I hope uh, this you you will find it very useful and in case you have any question you can drop it in the comment section and i'll be there to address whatever issue that you have as far as this particular discourse is taken into perspective please don't forget to subscribe to our channel because more of uh, this sort will be will be uploaded for your own benefit thank you very much uh, have a wonderful day